Recording? <laughs> I'm recording. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to push it to the side and act like it never happened. Um, Today's December 29th, which means it's Journal 19. We are really getting close to the end of this year. And uh, what do you think? Has it been a good year? Comment down below. Uh, no, it's been a pretty good year for me. Um, definitely just learning a lot and sort of changing my ways, which I'll get to in just a bit, I think. But <clears throat> the one thing that I wanted to start out with, I'm just sort of thinking about these last few days, because, you know, I haven't gotten, you know, too day to day here with the journal. It's been more discussions about meaning and stuff like that but for each day lately i've just been so tired i cannot get any energy you know i'm sleeping well i'm hydrated you know i always have a bottle of water you know i always got one i just i'm not sure what it could be um potentially a lack of vitamin d you know the sun's not really out these days but i'm really wondering is it caffeine am i growing way too dependent on caffeine i have a celsius every day um which you know saying that out loud now kind of sounds weird it sounds like i'm admitting a crime or something um but no i'm really wondering if that's what it is but the problem is, I don't want to quit it. This is addiction, and you know, uh, lots of people don't realize that caffeine is so addictive, uh, or they don't treat it the same way, at least, that they would other drugs. But man, caffeine really, it really is a, a tricky one. And I don't know, if you know anything medically, and you're watching, let me know. Because I've tried to look, and of course people say that that's the case like it can have an effect but i want to know from someone who's actually someone entitled to make claims about it if you know what i mean um the other thing that i really kind of want to sit on here and talk about think about is uh the fact that it has to be authentic life has to be authentic the way you operate has to be authentic. The, you know, each thing you do has to be authentic or else you're always going to be sort of a, a prisoner of your own expectations, if you will. And, you know, that's really in alignment with other people's expectations if you aren't living authentically. And, you know, I've made plenty of videos about this. You know, some with the Beatles, some with Stoicism, some with Existentialism. You know, just tons and tons of various thoughts and certain people preach authenticity, you know. And it's not even necessarily like this rebellious thing against conformity. It's not even really that. It's just, you know, live your truth, so to speak, as as the cliche would go. Um... I don't know do you think you should appease no one like within reason obviously you... <laughs> don't do anything crazy don't uh don't start uh getting stuff that can make you fired at your job for example don't start just living directly off intuition and just saying the first thing that comes to mind because that's not gonna that's not gonna help you out in the long run which you know that sort of makes a, a philosophical inquiry arise. It's like, if you preach authenticity, but it's within reason, then where's really, you know, where's the strength in that argument? If you have to sort of discern what the within reason authenticity is, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Um, it also got me thinking about this sort of self-centered ideology in massive air quotes online. How there's tons of people out there like so just putting their self first. And that's the way the world wants you to operate for sure. You have to constantly be looking out for yourself in order to 
stay afloat even in uh in modern times but i don't know is the self-centered online stuff where it's like if someone's not blah 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 for you then leave them behind <laughs> you know what i mean i'm sure you've seen many posts like that where it's like you weren't there for me at my lowest so now when i'm at my highest i ain't gonna talk to you <laughs> stuff like that um you know, a lot of those Facebook posts or, like, Twitter reposts that you see that sometimes pop up, uh, those are pretty crazy. Some of them are actually not very bad. You know, some of them are genuinely, like, a good reminder to, you know, sort of leave people out of your life that don't deserve to be in your life. But that's besides the point. The point is, is, is this sort of thing good or bad? The self-centered nature of... What many people are adopting as their personal code, if that makes sense. I always feel pretty weird about it. It's, um, to me, it doesn't really belabor the point of, of love enough. Um, not taking out my hippie shit, but, you know, there's, there's sort of, a reason why I still stick with that and it's why I have you know like hippie type stuff it's it's uh I don't know compassion is just so good and the self-centered stuff really sort of uh, uh what's the word what's the word complete mind fart it really uh it really uh distracts people from compassion and love and empathy i feel uh and even if even if it didn't it certainly is just a wedge you know it makes it harder um for for empathy to really shine through so that's just my take but if you if you have different opinions feel free to let me know i'm, I'm always happy to be wrong about something like this you know where there's not really a real answer anyways um so that's really the authenticity tangent. I've um I've had an all right day today. I I remember way back when I was rating my days. So I'll do that today for a little throwback. Um so far today's been like a like a 7. I've had not a whole lot to do. I recorded a podcast with my soccer related podcast channel and uh talk to my uncle for a long time which i'll probably talk about tomorrow um the topic the main topic and then uh went to the gym i was supposed to hit legs today but i ended up hitting chest but 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 i went really hard on the cardio afterwards sort of punished myself i just i did not want to do legs today and so i didn't uh, I was living authentically, you know, you, you can't blame me. Um, but yeah, I'll hit legs tomorrow now. And came home, made a thumbnail, and watched some Ozark. And now I'm about to head off to meet up with a friend who I haven't seen in a long time. I'm pretty excited. Uh, used to work with this guy a whole lot, and, you know, we just were really close. So I'm happy that I'm able to go do that now. Um, probably going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I have some gift cards, which I've been playing around with. Um, I definitely have ADHD. Like, I can never have my hands stay still. But yeah, after that, I'm really going to have a relaxed night. Um, not a whole lot going on. So, with that being said, yeah, day was a seven. Um. If anything drastic happens, I'll be sure to let you know in the pod or the podcast, the journal tomorrow, unless, unless I die, then there will be no journal tomorrow. Sorry, there's a fly and it's freaking me out. I don't like insects and bugs. I don't mind reptiles like snakes and stuff. I don't really mind them. I've seen quite a few big ones before. It just it is startling, but I definitely would rather encounter a reptile than a insect or a bug. Call me weird, but I don't know. 
it's, they're just creepy crawlies. I don't like creepy crawlies. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just keep talking if I don't if I don't shut myself up. But yeah, this will be out in a few minutes, so you'll be seeing this very soon.